Okay, so what we're going to work on is converting these units today. And so what we're going to work with is a number that you use to convert it. That's called a conversion factor. Now, open up your books to lesson 5.5. Five. And you have a list of conversion factors there. You also have them in your planners you can look at. A whole bunch of numbers you can use to find um, how to convert these numbers. So for example, inches and feet. How many inches are there in a foot? It says on page 257. How many inches in a foot? Abby? 12. So I wrote this as a ratio. Look at this ratio. One foot and 12 inches are equal amounts, and you can write them as a ratio. One foot is to 12 inches. They equal the same amount. Three feet and one yard is a ratio of feet to yards. 5,280 feet in a mile. Okay. 5,280 feet in one mile. So these are examples of ratios that we're going to use to multiply and convert a number from inches to feet or feet to inches. Okay. So here's how you do this. You're starting, they'll give you an amount, like, uh, yeah, yep, they'll give you an amount like uh, 68 inches, 68 inches equals how many feet, okay? So what you do in, to convert this is you write down a ratio of feet to inches, which is given here. How many feet are there? Uh, what are the? What's the conversion factor? One foot to twelve inches, right? So write that down. One foot to twelve inches. Okay. This is the ratio, what we call a conversion factor. This conversion factor is a ratio written as a fraction of an equal amount. And since we want to go from inches to feet, you write down the ratio for inches and feet. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Then, once you, once you have inches to feet, once you have inches and feet, then you multiply. You multiply 68 as a fraction, 68 over 1, times 1 twelfth. Okay? How would you multiply this? Using fractions. Could you factor out a 2 first? Yeah. Yeah. So we can convert this to 34 and 6. And can we do it again? Yes. Yep. Half it again. 17 to 3. And then multiply. 17 times 1. And 1 times 3 is 3. And then write it as a mixed number. What is this as a mixed number? 3 goes into 17 
five times. So we subtract 15 to get the remainder. The remainder two. So it's five and two thirds what? Five and two thirds, which is five and Okay. Let's go back. What we're doing is multiplying. So highlight this in your notes. Multiply the starting amount by the conversion factor. Conversion factor, which is a ratio, a fraction, that gives you equal amounts. CF, the conversion factor. Okay? Okay? Let's practice this. <coughs> I'm dying of math. Everybody can. Two plus two is Two 
okay? So this is one and a half fluid ounces. All right. What was the conversion factor for feet to inches again? Oh, oh I have it. Right? 5,280. Feet to inches. Oh. <laughs> Not feet to miles. <laughs> 12. 12. 12. Write this as a ratio. 1 foot equals 12 inches. Change the equal sign to multiplication. And then multiply the fractions. So factor out the 2 again, change this to 6, change this to 21, that equals 21 sixths. You can't, you can't, because 3 goes into 6 and 1. Yep, that's right. So we can factor out the 6 and change this to 1, right? We could have factored out uh, a 6 here. Divide it by six. Divide this by six and change this to seven. Twenty-one divided by six is seven. Forty-two divided by six is seven. Twelve divided by six is two. So we end up with seven halves, which is what? Three and a half. Okay. Number three, feet to miles. What is this one, Alex? Feet to miles again? It would be feet to miles. It would be 5,280. Right. So write that out as a ratio. One mile is 5,280 feet. Change the equal sign to multiplication. And then multiply. Each mile. So, you could factor out and uh, reduce it to two, <clears throat> or in this one, we could divide it first and see if it ends up being a, um, a decimal that we could convert to a fraction or a, a terminating decimal. Is it a terminating decimal when you divide those? It ends, yeah. So we have to write it as an exact answer, okay? You have to write these as an exact answer. So that's why you have to use mixed numbers. You have to use fractions or terminating decimals, okay? You can't write it as a rounded answer, a repeating decimal. So what is 6,600 divided by 5,280? What is that one? Nate? What's that on your calculator? Yeah, it kind of broke. Oh, okay. Bryce? 6,600 divided by 5,280. Six hundred six six zero zero one point one. One point two five. One point two five. So is that a terminating decimal we can use? Or it's one and one fourth miles, isn't it? How about pounds to tons? What's the ratio of pounds to tons? Look at this one. If 
Find that one in your book. Ariana? No, pounds the tons. The conversion factor. No, pounds the tons. In other words, one ton equals how much? 2,000 pounds. So write that as your conversion factor. Right to. What? Stop talking. Then convert, or sorry, divide 5,000 and 2,000. If you factor out the thousands, you get five halves, right? So if you cross out these zeros, Since you have 5,000 with three zeros over 2,000 with three zeros, all of the zeros cross out when you're dividing uh, big numbers. Okay, are we times it? Or multiplying fractions, Daria. So you multiply the top numbers and multiply the bottom numbers to get the fraction and then reduce it. Or, since it's 5,000 divided by 2,000, you take away the thousands, it's just 5 over 2. So we're dividing? We're factoring out the thousands, meaning that we're taking those out. Okay, then why do we put the times sign? Because we're multiplying these fractions together. Okay? You end up with 5 over 2, which is 2 and a half tons. Number five, now we're starting with a mixed number. Oh God. So we first have to change that to a top heavy fraction in order to multiply it by a fraction. What's three and one eighth as a top heavy fraction, Alex? 25 over eight. Good, 25 eighths. And we're gonna convert it to, from cups to fluid ounces. So what ratio are we gonna use? Cups and ounces again? One, two, eight, right? Now, in this case, there's eight fluid ounces in one cup. So we have to write the eight on the top line and the number of cups on the bottom line. It's not one over eight because it's got one fluid ounce and eight cups that are equal amounts. It's eight fluid ounces and one cup that are equal amounts. So we're multiplying 25 eighths times eight over one. That's the ratio we're using, is eight over one. Do you see where that ratio came from? That there is eight fluid ounces, Daria. Daria, you said no, I'm trying to explain it to you. There's eight fluid ounces in one cup. So just like it says, right here in this ratio, eight fluid ounces equals one cup. I died. Okay? And then multiply it by our other fraction, 25 eighths times eight over one. This fraction, this fraction came from three and one eighth. Then, we can reduce this because 8 over 8 is 1, so our answer is just 25 fluid ounces. Any questions on that? Skip down to the bottom. <laughs> What would we do with one yard and two feet? In order to convert it to just feet. You would add it. Nobody knows. One yard and two feet to just feet. You'd 
add the feet one at the yard end equals with you. Three feet. Yep. So one yard times three feet. Yeah, I know what? One yard equals three feet. Plus the two feet we already have. Equals five feet. Right? Yep. How about this one? Number 11, pints to gallons. The, is there a ratio for pints to gallons? Or does it go pints to quarts and then quarts to gallons? Quarts to gallons. Yeah, so we have two conversion factors here that we have to work with. So everyone look at this one. We can't go directly from pints to gallons. We have to have another fraction here to work with. So from pints to quarts, oops, I'm sorry, wrong one. We have to go quarts here. Pints to quarts, and then quarts to gallons. There, we don't have a number. You could figure it out pretty easily. But if we're going to use the conversion factor, how many pints are there in a quart? Look at your, your, conver your uh, conversion chart. Eight, eight pints in a quart? No, in a gallon. No, in, a gallon. in a gallon. What is it, pints to quarts? Uh, two um, pints in one quart. Hey. Yep. Pints in one quart. So that's the first fraction we need to multiply. And then what is it in quarts to gallons? One gallon equals four quarts. So we have 23 times one times one. We multiply these fractions. 23 over eight. One times two times four. Then eight goes in twenty-three and two times. Remainder of five. Wait, no, remainder of eight. So uh, nine. So your assignment is to finish 6 through 12. Finish 6 through 12. Make sure that you write the conversion factor that you're using for each one.